Hi guys, this is the Java series. We are going to discuss the ternary operator. What is the ternary operator? It is the only conditional operator which takes three operands. That's why we can call it as ternary operator. We can use the ternary operator in place of if else conditions. We will discuss if else conditions later in detail. Now we will see the example program for ternary operator. Here I have created the operator package. Inside this package I have created the ternary CLS class. Inside this class I have created the main method. And in this program I have created three variables n1, n2 and max. So these three variables are belongs to integer data type. Okay. These two statements are used to print the n1 and n2 on our console. Okay, and then here I have used the ternary operator question mark with colon. Here we have three operands. This is the expression. This is one operand and here n1 is separate operand and n2 is the third operand. So in this statement we have three operands. So after the evaluation of this expression we will get either true or false. Am I correct? Here n1 holds 5 and n2 holds 10. After the evaluation of this expression, what is the result? 5 greater than 10. Is it true? No. It returns false only. False means what happens? The third operand will be executed. Okay. If this expression returns true only, the second operand will be executed. So, in this statement, we will get false only. False means which one will be executed? n2 only will be executed. So, what is the value of n2? 10. So, we will get the largest among the given two numbers. Am I correct? So, with the help of this println method, I just print the largest among the given two numbers will be printed. Let me execute this one. Here, first number and second number is printed and the largest number is 10. Got it. So, I change the values of n1 and n2. Again, I execute the same one. Here, first number is printed, second number is printed. What is the largest number? 15. Okay. So, n1 holds 15, n2 holds 4. In between, we have the relational operator. After the evaluation of this expression, what is the result? 15 is the greater value. So, it returns a true only. True means what happens? The second operand will be executed. So, what is the value of n1? Now, the value of n1 is 15. So, we got this 15 as the result. Okay. We have completed the ternary operator. If you have any doubts, message in the comment section. Have a nice day. Thank you.